Hello everyone, welcome to Python Lab. Today I'm gonna show you how to calculate the probability using cumulative distribution function. Previously we have discussed uh, about the probability mass function uh, from probability distribution for machine learning uh, tutorials. So you can watch the videos uh, about the probability using Python probability mass function, uh, random variable, and random and discrete variables as well. Uh, today, I'm going, I'm going to show you how to calculate probability using probability uh, cumulative distribution function in Python. Uh, the, the cumulative distribution uh, for random variable can be derived from the probability mass function. The probability mass function is a type of uh, probability distribution that defines the probability of observing a particular value of a discrete random variable. So however, instead of the probability of observing a specific value, the cumulative distribution function gives it the probability of observing a specific value or less. So, this is uh, better. Uh, instead of uh, calculating uh, the probability of observing a specific value using probability mass function, we can uh, use cumulative distribution function uh, to uh, and calculate the probability of observing a specific value or less. We will see in Python. Uh, so as previously discussed, the probability of all possible values in a given uh, probability distribu uh, distribution that add up to one. The value of a cumulative distribution function at a given value is equal to the sum of the probability lower than that value with the value of the uh, one for the largest possible uh, number. That is, if uh, we have two uh, cumulative distributions, we have two uh, numbers the uh, so far the two different numbers x1 and x2 and the random variable could take on and the cumulative the value of the function will always take uh, the value of the function will always be the greater uh, for the larger value so in this, uh, which is mathematically represented, uh, the cumulative distribution function for x is less than the cumulative uh, distribution function for x2. So we can uh, calculate using cumulative distribution function in Python uh, from uh, scipy.stats library. The first question is, how can we calculate the probability of observing three or fewer heads from 10 uh, coins, Philippine coins? or zero to three heads, uh, which is mathematically represented like, look like uh, probability of three or fewer heads is equal to the probability of three to six, uh, three heads. So instead of calculating the probability of three to uh, six, uh, three, zero to three heads and summing up uh, each probability, we can uh, use the probability of three or fewer heads using cumulative distribution function. So to calculate this, uh, first of all, let's uh, import the scipy.stats uh, library and let's write the uh, probe one. Three from 10 experiments and probability success is 0 0.5. And we can print the result and let's see. So, it is 0 0.1 server around. And we can compare using uh, the result of this cumulative distribution function uh, using the probability mass function. Let's compare uh, this compare to probability mass function. In probability ma mass function, we can uh, uh, calculate uh, the sum of the probability of each outcomes, each uh, observation. from zero to three heads from 10 experimenters plus starts
we got the same result with the app uh, we've calculated using the probability uh, distribution uh, cumulative distribution function. So here uh, we have calculated using the uh, probability mass function. So and instead of using uh, the probability of each uh, observation, we can use the probability uh, the cumulative distribution function from uh, three uh, or fewer heads. Uh, from uh, the total number of observations, the total number of uh, samples. So we get the same result, but uh, the simplest way is using the probability cumulative distribution and instead of using the probability mass function. Okay, uh, in uh, probability mass function, we can use the binom.cdf function method from the scipy.stats library to calculate the cumulative distribution function. This method takes three values, x, the value of interest that is looking for the probability of this value or less, that is, for example, three or less, and the number of sample size, the number of experiments or trials for, from 10 experiments or 10 flipping coins, we can calculate the probability of the number of heads we are uh, observing. And the probability of success, every probability has two uh, outcomes uh, the probability of success and the probability of failure. So we, we uh, in this case, we use the probability of uh, success. So the same is true for uh, probability of uh, probability mass function. We we it, it takes three function uh, values, x, n, and p. So we uh, but the difference is the way we calculate uh, using the three uh, probability probability in probability mass function. We can uh, sum up uh, each probability, and we get the probability of uh, the number of heads we observe from the total number of uh, samples. But in cumulative distribution, we just take the cumulative of the uh, number of heads from uh, the total number of observations. And the second question we're going to calculate is uh, calculate the probability of observing between four and uh, eight heads from 10 uh, coin flippers can be taught as taking the difference of the values of uh, the cumulative distribution function at eight from the cumulative distribution at uh, sorry, so which is mathematically represented as probability uh, four to eight heads. This is a range, uh, a range uh, the way uh, we can calculate a range. Uh, I have already presented a video about how to calculate a range uh, over a range, probability over a range. The probability of zero to eight heads, then uh, that is the difference between uh, the probability of zero to eight heads and the probability of zero to uh, three heads, not including uh, four, not including four. That is, uh, we get the probability between four and eight uh, heads. And instead of calculating the sum of four to eight heads, instead of. So now let's calculate this probe uh, through. Eight and fewer heads, which which means uh, zero to eight heads means eight and fewer uh, heads uh, using uh, cumulative distribution function and minus CDF. That is uh, zero. I mean uh, three and fewer heads. Finally, we get the probability of uh, a, a four and a eight heads. That is uh, 0 0.817 around. It is the way we can calculate. And the third question uh, about calculating uh, probability using uh, cumulative distribution function, to calculate the probability of observing more than uh, six heads, not including six, more than six heads. For, from 10 uh, flipping coins, we subtract the value of the cumulative distribution function of six from one, because the total sum of the uh, 10 experiments, the probability of 10 experiments is one. So we can subtract uh, from one uh, uh, that the cumulative distribution function of six, that is we get the result, the, uh, which is mathematically represented as Probability more than six heads is 
uh, equals to one th minus probability of six or fewer heads. Uh, just uh, one minus the probability of cumulative uh, distribution of six or fewer heads. Now let's print this. That is 0 0.17 around. So this is a way we can calculate using probability distribution function instead of probability mass function. So the simplest way is uh, using probability distribution function. All right, okay, thanks for watching. Uh, next I will pr bring another topic uh, for machine learning uh, about uh, probability distribution. So we will learn more about uh, probability distribution because the most important topic for machine learning. Before uh, we get started uh, learning about machine learning, we should understand the basic concepts of probability distribution. Thanks for watching again.